Yo, what up guys, Old School Dan here, back again with another upper body workout. If you're in the Orange County area and you're looking for a personal trainer, come train with me at Self Made Orange County over here in Orange. That's on North Tustin Street. So if you want to hit me up, shoot me a DM, shoot me an email, whatever you want. Get into contact with me, we'll set something up. First session is free, so with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first exercise I start off with is an incline dumbbell press. A uh, favorite of Steve Reeves, a favorite of mine for building that nice upper chest. Now, some other people say that you know a reverse grip bench press is good for upper chest, but if it was really that good, everybody would know about it. You know, Steve Reeves had a nice upper chest and he recommended this exercise. So, I mean, call it whatever you want. But the next exercise I'm gonna, I'm gonna dive into right here is a flat demo press. I do about three sets of eight reps. And again, like on other days, I'll do barbells and on other days, I'll just do straight dumbbells. And of course, I always, always warm up before I do any of these exercises. I always do a nice dynamic stretch for maybe about 10 minutes, you know, doing some arm circles. Um, I use this nice, really nice rowing machine. It, it's, I, you know, do a few cable pullers, just kind of warm up all the rotator cuff, the shoulder joints, all that good stuff before I actually start weightlifting. And then I actually start to do a weightlifting warm up before even that. So I make sure I double warm up just because, you know, like, you know, I get very stiff. And I'm sure you get very stiff too. So you always want to, you know, keep yourself safe because it all it takes is that one injury to put you out forever. Because once you hurt, a muscle like the rotator cuff or your back, oof, it's very hard to recover from one like that. I've heard rotator cuff uh, physical therapy is the worst. Right here, we got a one arm row, three sets of eight reps. I think I'm doing like maybe like 60 pounds. I've managed to go up five pounds. So I was doing the same, I've been doing the same routine for about four weeks now. And I've managed, or actually like eight weeks almost. And I've managed to add five pounds on every lift. Like I bench press, um, all these um, dumbbell exercises I've been doing right now. I managed to add five pounds, which is a good a good amount. Some I'll add ten, some I'll add five. But that's good. I mean, I'm getting stronger as progressive overload. And I follow a very simple rep scheme, just like Steve Reeves. I'll start with eight. I'll start with eight, and if I work up to twelve, then I have to reset the weight, add five or ten pounds, and just start over. Really basic, old school battling Steve Reeves style uh, rep scheme because I it works absolutely incredible. It's like it's so simple, and that's what I love about old school bodybuilding. It's just super simple. Sorry the camera just cut out for a little bit. Right here, we got a machine row. This is different from the one at my gym. Um, I don't. I think I like the one at my gym better. But I mean, this place is nice. It's got nice equipment. Here, I'm doing a machine row, one arm at a time, three sets of eight reps. So it's pretty heavy. A lot of the weights I did in this routine are, you know, kind of heavy. Like start off with like 65, 65 pound dumbbells. Now I'm doing like maybe what is this like four a plate and five on each side. I don't know. It felt heavy though. I haven't been 100% on my diet, and I totally should be because Vince Rana said did say bodybuilding is 85% nutrition and 15% train. And I love this new camera that I got. It actually shoots 4K, and I'm shooting in 4K right now. So that's what I love about it. I was going to shoot in 32 frames per second. I'm sorry, 28 or 30 frames per second at 1080p. But I was like, you know what? I never used the 4K function. Let me try it out. The only thing I don't like about this camera is that it has a huge crop when I do 4K, because it's already a camera that isn't full frame. So when I do, like when I take pictures, it crops it, it's got a crop sensor. But when I do 4K, oh, it crops it even more, and it really bothers me. But I got a pretty good deal on this camera, it's like 600 bucks. Right here, I got skull crushers. I decided to limit the range of motion because I usually go behind, all the way behind my head, but I just wasn't feeling it. So you see that mid-exercise, I do change the form up, and I start doing you know, uh, original skull crushers because the way I like to do them and the way I like to have, teach other people to do them is to go all the way behind your head to get that really nice stretch in your triceps. Whereas when you do straight to your forehead or your eyebrows, the range of motion is limited and isn't as great because when you get good range of motions on exercises, you can usually, usually stimulate the muscle more. But that's not always the case because you don't always want to get that full range of motion if you're not if your body's not able to do it. Like, you know, getting a deep range of motion in your bench press sometimes isn't the best idea especially if you have bad shoulder health that's probably not the best idea so some people they'll literally do literally half just the half range of motion on the bench press just because you know their shoulders can't take or their chest the shoulders don't they don't have that mobility that flexibility to go all the way down so right here we got inclined dumbbell curl so the last exercise was skull crushes three sets of eight now right here inclined dumbbell curls a favorite of steve Reeves. i absolutely love these Steve Reeves never got bored of these. He did them for on and on. And I like the way he built a machine where you see where my elbows are. 
he built the pads right there so that that way you can make the movement super super strict that or you could just keep try to keep your elbows super um super still because that's the real key to building great great bicep, um, bicep def, um, development just keeping those elbows super still because if you start to you know not keep the elbows still you start to bring in front delta you start to bring in shoulders and you know the whole point bodybuilding and isolation sport you have to learn to isolate the muscle groups so lastly i'm going to finish off with smith machine shrugs about a plate um not too much weight and yes i know i have changed my philosophy on training traps on training on doing squats guys literally like we all evolve as human beings like i you know i'm glad that i switched up and i started working traps because it's probably been one of the best things I've ever done this year. So with that being said, hope you enjoyed this video. Click the link in the bio if you want to pick up my ebook, Silvera Secrets. Shoot me a DM if you want online coaching. I do make nutrition programs, training programs, and if you want one-on-one -on -one training with me in person, I'm located in Orange County as a self-made on in Orange on Tustin Street. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just said that. Subscribe for more videos like this. Give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'm Oscar Dan. I'm gone. Peace.